Well, as I said yesterday, we thought we were done. We're still here. So it's beautiful. I've been sitting outside getting some sun. Ed ran and got some groceries. And now I'm going to show you what he's up to. Look at that guy. He's using some of our precious water to wash his precious truck. When you're great gardening, you are limited on water, so keep that in mind. Um, don't take a shower for a day so you can wash your truck. <laughs> Sacrifices. Yes, you have to make sacrifices so you can clean your vehicles because, of course, now if you're um, full hookup, you know how much water you use when you're cleaning your vehicles. Don't do that. This is a quick wash, quick rinse. That's it. No really deep cleaning. But it definitely helps keep your RV cleaner so when you do get off a gate, it doesn't take you as long to get everything cleaned up again. Well, we just got notification that our gate is closed and technically we closed the gate. We're excited to get to try something different, go to different places. And um, my tummy's a little in eh this morning and sometimes it depends on the day. Sometimes my stomach gets a little uh, when I know we're going to travel. And the way we go to the beach. We are Ed and Dora. We have been full-time RVers since 2009. We love to share with you all of our different travels, but most importantly, how we make income so maybe you can too. Today we got the call. Um, they think that we're going to be released from this gate. So now it's just a waiting game. Um, the company we're working for contacts the oil company and then um, we just wait to hear back from them if it's today or if they need us to stay a little bit longer. Well, as I said yesterday, we thought we were done. We're still here. So it's beautiful. I've been sitting outside getting some sun. Ed ran and got some groceries. And now I'm going to show you what he's up to. Look at that guy. He's using some of our precious water to wash his precious truck. And we just got done with the RV. You just have to be really careful how much water you use. Um, because of, again, we're limited on water. There's the old man, hard at it. Aren't you, babe? Oh, I'm tired. Yep, gotta clean my baby. So when you're gate guarding, here, I'll flip you around. So when you're gate guarding, just like as if you were on a gravel road, everything is gonna get dusty and dirty. Um, we're really lucky on this one that we do have some blacktop, as you can see, coming into our um, RV of course so when they're coming from the gravel everything comes this way so um, we've been here eight weeks Yeah, eight weeks. we've been here eight weeks and we've washed the RV twice Ed's cleaned the air conditioners and now he's cleaning his truck um, just because we're bored we have nothing better to do but when you're great gardening you are limited on water so keep that in mind um, don't take a shower for a day so you can wash your truck. <laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta make sacrifices. Yes, you have to make sacrifices so you can clean your vehicles because, of course, now if you're um, full hookup, you know how much water you use when you're cleaning your vehicles. Don't do that. This is a quick wash, quick rinse. That's it. No really deep cleaning. But it definitely helps keep your RV cleaner so when you do get off a gate, it doesn't take you as long to get everything cleaned up again. And like on one gate, if we would have left it on, it would have stained our RV because it was that red dirt.
Well, we just got notification that our gate is closed and technically we closed the gate. So people getting in and out, they have their own code and they can let themselves in and out because it's regular traffic now. So we are going to be heading um, to the beach. Awesome, yes. We're gonna go have some downtime to ourselves. So of course we're gonna take you right along so we can show you different areas that you can camp at cheaply or for free and how we dump filler tanks, all that good stuff while we're doing this. So, well, we got everything picked up. Truck's not hooked up because then we would be way out of whack. We'll do that in the morning, finish getting everything in our hose and all that good stuff all picked up. Everything on the inside's picked up and um, we'll take you along where we're gonna go tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Sorry the hair is kind of wonky today, but um, this is our last day. We are leaving our gate in just probably an hour. We're excited to get to try something different, go to different places. And um, my tummy's a little in eh, this morning, and sometimes it depends on the day. Sometimes my stomach gets a little uh, when I know we're going to travel. I know rationally it's not right, but. My tummy gets a little, mm. So we're just gonna take you along today and show you. Um, we only got about four hours max to drive today, so not bad. So we got the truck running and Mason and Missy are in the truck already. They feel better. Once they know we're uh, moving, they feel better in the truck. So that's what we do. There's Edward. Edward's getting everything picked up out here. He's getting the dirty gloves on. Well, yeah, so far it had everyone for the same hand. <laughs> Those two are for the same hand. That's strange. Yeah, see? Huh. Must have ruined one. We only had two sets. I don't know, that's weird. So what are you gonna do um, after you get your gloves on? I am gonna be doing this. Take the black hose off, then I'm gonna get the water hose, and hopefully you'll have the slides in by then. Hopefully. I'm working on it. Then we gotta take the jacks, put them up, hook up the truck, mm -hmm. open up the gate, and away we go to the beach. This gate's done and it officially is closed.
can have your big old house, pretty manicured lawn, beautiful bow window. I'ma take my metal box, all decked out, and go wherever the wind blows. You can do what you will. I'ma do what I please. There's more than one road to happy. I'm gonna get there in my RV.